So let's flip back over to here. And we'll probably do this one too. Anyway, now that we have this, we're gonna do the ones that are above that. Now, as you recall, the technique that I had for that is corner swaps and then middle swaps. To do the corner swaps, what I'm gonna look for is I want a sandwich formation where I have two of one color where the middle is not. And I'm gonna look for at each uh, layer a sandwich. If I don't see that, then I have to do a corner swap. One corner swap will give me one sandwich. You then move that to the left side, do another corner swap, and they'll all be sandwiches, which means all of your corners are in, but your middles have to be swapped. Now what I'm going to do is, as long as I'm isolating each level, I could do each one one at a time, or to save time, I could do a bunch at the same time, as long as I'm moving it in conjunction with the bottom layers, with the, with the algorithm. And I'll tell you what the algorithm is if you haven't seen the previous tutorials, but let's look at the layer above here. Do we have one of those sandwiches? And up here, no, we don't have that here either. So in this layer, we're going to have to do a corner swap as well. How about the top layer? What we do, we have a sandwich motif over here. So what's going to happen is this, is I'm going to move this to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a corner swap with these layers at the same time. What's going to happen is that because I already have a sandwich formation here, this entire layer is going to have sandwich formations and we're going to be good. But this layer here, these two layers, will only have one and it's going to be like a step behind this layer. So I'm going to do that algorithm, the corner swap, on these three layers at the same time and then try to get them in sync. So here's the algorithm uh, for that. 2R, and I'm going to be moving these three in unition. So that's U, this whole thing is U. 2R, UI, 2R. Then you're going to move these three in unition, keeping the top and the bottom exactly where they are with a, a UI. And then you're going to move the bottom um, homo uh, homologous layers as well to uh, D. And then you go 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. And then you can move your bottom layers back. This is not a parity creating algorithm, but let's see what we did. Basically what it did is, as promised, the top layer, everything turned into sandwiches, as you can see. So we just have to swap centers. Here, we have a sandwich formation here, but only one. So this gets moved, moved to the side. We should see another one on this layer here. Not here, not here, not here. Oh, we actually don't have any over here. Somehow this, this didn't work on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do it on this side here to catch up with these two. Okay, so if I do a, if I do a corner swap here, this will come here and give me a sandwich. Now here's, here's the deal. This is already where we want it to be to do middle swaps. This is one corner swap away from getting sandwiches on all layers. This needs to have one corner swap to get one sandwich. So this is literally, each one is one step out of sync. This needs to have two corner swaps to get the sandwich formation. This needs one, because it already has one here. Am I sure I didn't find one here? Yeah, okay. And this already is where it needs to be. So what that means is I'm gonna do another corner swap with just these two layers. That'll catch this layer up to this, and this one will have to be caught up independently. And I don't have to worry about parity because this, again, is not a parity generating algorithm. So I'm only going to be covering these two layers. So I have to be very careful to move it in conjunction with these two layers. So 2R. Now, if this is giving you too much of a headache and you want to do each one one at a time, you can do that. Maybe I'll show that in this one. But it's kind of a neat way of doing it. But 2R. U. Just these layers. 2R. UI. 2R. This, these two layers move by a UI, the homologous layers on the bottom, moved by a D, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R, and we can move this back. So, as promised, this is all sandwiches. Well, either all sandwiches or completely in, doesn't matter. And this, well, this managed to become all sandwiches too. So. If this wasn't to catch this layer up, I would do the same algorithm, but just with this layer over here. Now we can coordinate these to do middle swaps, to do a bunch at the same time.
So I can swap these two and I'll have two in. I can say swap these two and I'll get exactly the same thing and it doesn't matter here I can swap any one of these I'll swap these two just turns out that this will come here this will come here well that won't do me any good will it so why don't I do this this pink will come here and solve this this will come here and not solve that but that's okay so I'm gonna do these three at the same time with the swapping algorithm now bear in mind this is a parity creating algorithm so we're gonna expect that we're gonna see parity here, but that's okay. We know how we can get out of that. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R. This is gonna be 2, U, 2R, 2, U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. So let's see what we got. As promised, well, we have parity here and also these two. We don't worry about that yet. And now let's take a look at what we've got. This is in, this is in. This whole layer is in. So we are done dealing with this third layer. What about the fourth, what about the second layer here? Well, this isn't here and this isn't here. So one more of that will solve this top layer. And regarding this bottom layer, I can flip these guys. This will come here, this will come here, and that'll be fine. So, <laughs> picture this, I'm only gonna be moving these two layers, which means I'm only gonna be moving these two layers. Do it totally layer by layer if this is too confusing or gives you a headache, which it's doing with me. 2R, oh my, my, my. Yeah, that's gonna be a little tough to move all of these, isn't it? Should we try it? Yeah, proof of concept, why not? 2R, okay, this is a U and this is a U. 2R, this is a U, this is a U. 2R, and then we got, this is 2U, and this is 2U. 2R, this is 2U, and this is 2U. 2R, this is U. This is U, 2R, UI, UI, and 2R. All right, move these back. One more to go. Now understand, this was stationary, so I did create the same parity over here, but again, we're not gonna worry about that. Last but not least, we're gonna move these two in. So these two are gonna be moving independently. 2R, U, 2R. U, 2R, 1, 2U, 2R, 1, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, and this is in. Okay, so this is what we're left with, and now we're going to have to start dealing with parity. Well, when you find yourself in this position, because you have these that are out, just double turn them to get these back. And now we're gonna to wanna to deal with the parities on these side. And this is pretty easy. Okay, it's easier than, than you might think. And you're gonna see a variety of different variations. I'm not gonna go through every variation, but the strategy is gonna be the same. And I think you'll be able to easily work your way through it. What the strategy is, with this algorithm is you hold it here so that both parity sides are on, are on the right and the left. And your first U move is going to be splitting down just below where your first parity is. So in this case, it's here. So you're splitting here. Um, if it were just this one, then you'd split below here. What the algorithm is, is it's going to be, now bear in mind, just remember we're three down here. Because we're going to be doing in the middle a U and then a U just above that. So that's going to be two U. 2R, 2F, and then we're gonna split it the same that we did this to start off with, 2U, then we split it above that, 2U, then 2F, 2R, 2U. So now what you have is just these two. And we're gonna be doing exactly the same thing. This is where the parity is, so now we're gonna split it down here, and then when we do our middle U's, we're gonna go here and just above. So let's see what happens. Hold it here, 2U, so remember it's four down, 2R, 2F, so four down, 
to u, and to u, just above that, then to f, to r, to u, and my goodness, you did it. You did it. Okay, for those that are interested, I'm gonna go through this one with a layer by layer method, just in case you found that a little difficult to follow. And it'll kind of go through it step by step. So starting off with this, what we're gonna to wanna to do is, uh, we don't have any sandwich formations here. So let's do a middle swap to put this over here. So it's just this layer here, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Then just this moves with the UI. It's complementary layer here moves with the D, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. Then you can move this one back. Here's our sandwich here. This then moves to the left. And we do it again. One more corner swap, we'll get sandwiches everywhere. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, UI, D, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. Move it back. So you can see it's a little slower, but at least, you know, you can maybe keep track a little bit better. And then we just do middle swaps. Let's swap these guys here. This green is already solved. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. So we put this in. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we swapped these. We did create parity here. No worries. We'll take that parity out by putting this in here. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Parities are taken out. This layer is now solved. This one, we have a sandwich here, no sandwich here. So move this to the side. One corner swap should get us what we want. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Turn it to a U here. Now we have to make sure we get the right layer, which is this one, to here. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. Flip this one back. We've got sandwiches everywhere just here and here. So we're gonna to wanna to do an, uh, an opposite middle swap. So it's gonna be 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. We got that here. Got just a whole bunch of parity over here, but that's okay, won't deal with that yet. There's parity that's created that involves this as well. So let's just get all of our centers in. So we're gonna flip these to 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. All right, so these two are switched. Now I'm gonna flip these two in. Now again, bear in mind, there is parity here. And unfortunately, the parity involves this layer, so that's how it gets a little confusing. But you'll see what happens when we flip this back in. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. All right. Now what's left to do is to move this to here. So adjacent middle swaps. 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, to you. So the end result of that is we put that in, but we have parity over here. Now, I know that seemed a little confusing, but I hope it didn't seem too confusing. But we just had to bear in mind that the parity involved this side as well somehow. But anyway, we're going to do it exactly the same way. We're going to um, hit the parity with these two, putting our U up here to start off with because it splits these right here. So that's going to be. 2U, to 2R, to, to, to F, then splitting here again, 2U, then 2U, then 2F, to 2R, to 2U. To so now we just have these two, and we're going to do it the same way, split it down here. Remember, we're splitting it down after the third one. 2U, to 2R, to, to F, after the third one here, 2U, 
to U, to F, to R, to U, and it will work 100% of the time. So you can see that it was a little bit more cumbersome doing it layer by layer, and I kind of ran into some strange, bizarre parity situations than if I did it that way. So pick your poison. Tell me if there's any further clarifications that you need. I know it got a little testy there, but give that a try as we move on to the next White Eden puzzle.